Hey, Mark Nelson here. Today, what I want to do is share with you the five best ways to generate qualified leads. But first, let me explain a little bit about myself. When I first started, got started in this industry, I was a high school teacher. I knew nothing about this stuff. I didn't have really any technical savvy about how to market online, how to do a capture page, nothing. I didn't even know what a lead was. In fact, I was one of those spammers. I throw stuff all over the place just trying to get somebody to look at my stuff. And it just wasn't working. So I had to go to school. And because of a teacher, I like to teach. So today what I want to do is share with you the five best ways to gener generate qualified leads. Now a lead, when I first got started, I thought it was anything. But there are qualified leads. And what a qualified lead is, is, is somebody that really has an interest in what you are doing, your product, your company, your service, anything that you can use to generate somebody that wants to learn more information about what you're doing. Now, so before I get into the five best ways, what I want to talk to you about is something that's extremely important. And I didn't know if it, that was really important right away, but you know what? what I, when you are going to market, you really need to go out of your way to find out who are you going to market to. See, I thought the product I had was great for everybody. The service I had was great for everybody. But at the same time, I did much better when I really narrowed down who my perfect customer was or your avatar. So I suggest you and I have some great avatar training. I'll put it in the link below. But really what you want to do is you are, who are you going to talk to? Are you going to talk to a female? Are you going to talk to a male? Are they going to be young? Are they going to be old? Are they going to be in health and wellness? Do they want to lose weight? Do they want to build a business? You have to start asking all these questions. What are their challenges? What are their fears? See, when I started this industry, I was afraid of not being able to retire. I had a fear of not being able to help my kids in college. So I was looking for a way to make extra income. That's how people found me in this industry. So you have to find out who are you talking about and who are you going to market to. Again, I will put a link in the description below of a great training that you can take a look at that will help you big time. Now, so let's talk about the five best ways to generate leads. The best way is you need a lead magnet. Now, what is a lead magnet? A lead magnet is usually something that when I make it, I give away some value. Like, I might make a PDF called the five best ways to generate leads. And when people are looking for how to build their business, are looking for lead generation, they come and put their email in because I have this free PDF that will teach them. Teach them for free. Nothing else. That's all I want is I want to build my email list by using lead generation, by using a lead magnet. Now, I'll also put a link below that will teach you three great tips on how to be a successful affiliate marketer. So that was the first one, is you need to have a lead magnet. So anytime that you're doing something, your call to action can be sending them back to a lead magnet so you give them something away for free. And then what you do is you get them on their your email list and you can start teaching to them, giving away more value and start building up that know, like, and trust. The second best way is I'd be a fool if I didn't mention social media. And I use Facebook. Why? Because it's my crowd my people I'm talking to. And Facebook has like 2 billion people. Now, I don't go spam people. I put out content. I try to give, educate and entertain, do how-to stuff. I have a group where I really get into doing affiliate marketing things. If you'd like to know that group, I'll put the link below into that also. Now, so I use Facebook, but on social media, you could also use Instagram. Now, I do Instagram, but, you know, to tell you the truth, there's usually, there's really a younger crowd there. So if you haven't noticed, I'm a little older gentleman, so I go to where 
I feel my people are the best. Now, you can also get on LinkedIn, and I don't know LinkedIn really well, but I'm starting to learn it because the people that I'm starting to get to know there are business people. How cool is that? They're business people, and I'm a business, and they're looking for a way to learn about different things, possibly looking for a way to learn about my business. So, so far we covered two. Lead magnet, social media. The next one is a YouTube channel or doing YouTube videos. See, Facebook, people search, or you search, I shouldn't say that. It's a social media challenge where you go out and and put up content and people see it and whatnot, but YouTube's different. See, it's owned by Google, and it's the number two search engine vehicle on the internet. Besides what? Besides Google. So people get on here and they start searching how to generate leads, and they start finding, as long as you use the right CEO and the right keywords, in your channel and your thumbnail look great, then guess what? They see your video and as long as you have a great video and then you have a call to action to give some value away or your lead magnet, they become part of your tribe. The next one is your blog. And that's what I started doing first. And to make money with the blog, you have, as you are blogging about something that's really current, now this is gonna go on my blog, Inside it, I'll have links sending them to either trainings, sending them to a different lead capture page, sending them to my products. And I have made a good income and I've created a lot of leads right off my blog. Now the last one, right, because we've talked social media, we've talked Facebook, we've talked YouTube, we've talked a blog. This is webinars. This is probably the Biggest tool that you can ever have. Now, when I first did my first webinar, do you know what? I didn't have anybody. Do you know how many people I had in my second one? None. Do you know how many in my third? I had one. And I slowly started building up. And now I can put out a webinar and I can get anywhere from 50 to 250 people there. Now, and that's small to what people do. But those are all leads. And as long as I give away great content, have a great call to action at the end, I am building my business. So there you have it. That's all free stuff. I didn't even talk about Facebook ads. But the five best ways, the five best ways is once you know who your target market is, your avatar, then what you do is you develop a lead magnet. So you have a call to action. And you can, if you, have, if you want ideas, reach out to me. I can go out and give you some great ideas for your lead magnet. But then you just give something away. So you, in exchange for their email. So where to get your leads? Social media, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. Then you go to YouTube. Probably the biggest and one of the best right now is YouTube. If you have a blog, start writing content blog posts, giving away value with different links that they can go to. And then webinars. So I hope you got great value from that. If you did, can you please like it, share it, make a comment, hit that subscribe button. And then down below, look for that link for my call to actions, which is how the three secret tips to become a successful affiliate marketer. You take care. We will talk again soon.